If I had to describe Quidditch in a word, it would be life-changing. Magical. A family, really. I guess a family is the word I would pick. It's more than a sport. It's more than just you know getting together with a bunch of people and throwing up balls around. It's a sport and it's something that I use to be fit and active, but it's also a, a huge social thing. The team's a family. We spend a lot of time together. Pr pretty much every day of the week, we're, we're beating each other up with love. When students find out that they can be part of something that they grew up with, there's just something about it that makes them never look back. And when I saw that there was Quidditch, my mind was kind of blown. One of the players was like, hey, have you heard about Harry Potter? Quidditch exists, it's real, you should come out. And I'm like, yeah, I've, I've always wanted to play Quidditch. So we just tried it out and it was awesome, so we stayed. I play a chaser and our main goal is to score. Um, so we pass the quaffle around um, on offense and try to score through one of the hoops. And on defense, we just try to prevent the other chaser from doing the same thing. I play beater, and we deal with the bludgers, which um, are three four square balls or dodge balls. Um, and we're kind of the defensive line. We, we throw the bludgers at opposing players, and when they get hit by a bludger, they have to dismount, get off their broom, go back and touch their hoops before they can go back into the play. Um, seekers, they have a lot of um, they have a lot of work to do as far as catching a snitch, especially against a good one. Uh, they're usually thrown around a lot, they're tired out, they're constantly getting beaten by uh, beaters. So there is a degree of difficulty to each one. Perhaps one of the most unique aspects of the team is that both males and females are treated as equals. The fact that it's a co-ed sport makes it really, really appealing and also kind of complex at the same time. There's obvious challenges when you're a girl and you're going up against bigger guys. A lot of our female players are very physical, some even more physical than some male players on other teams. Especially me, I get, I get put on guys a lot on defense. But it's also difficult because we are beating on each other, we're, we're tackling, we're, we're running as fast as we can and throwing each other to the ground. You really have to learn to ignore the gender and you have to think to yourself, okay, this, this is a big guy, but you have to convince yourself that you can take him on. They have to make a lot of rules to make sure that we're all very safe and careful around each other. I challenge you to name one other full contact co-ed sport outside of Quidditch. Even though many of the players that join the team enjoy Harry Potter, the reason why they play is completely different. I've read Harry Potter a billion times. Um, have all the movies. You don't have to be that huge diehard fan. There's a range of nerdiness on the team. And you don't even have to be a fan of Harry Potter to play Quidditch. But it's more than just a collection of Harry Potter fans. It's their athletes. And the sport has really grown. Like we came for Harry Potter, but we stayed for the sport. Being part of a team, it's, it's being part of a family, like I said. It's, it's kind of just life. I feel that I'm very accepted by this family that we call ourselves. Whenever you tell somebody that, oh, I play Quidditch, you, you get this look. Every Quidditch player knows the look. So try to uh, broaden people's horizons. Tell them, you know, it's, it's not just a bunch of geeks running out. Why don't you come out and see it for yourself? For more information on how you can become part of the UF Quidditch team, join the Facebook group Quidditch at UF.